Not a guy. Oh, why didn't we tell me uh, pe we were bringing fans? I would have got mine out of the suitcase. And I would have got my cowboy hat. Uh, we can start over. No. Okay. We're all now, so... <laughs> Welcome to the Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where the tea is piping hot. And we are always ready to spill. I'm Logan Murphy, just a gay... Here with my beautiful fan. It's beautiful and sparkly. And I have a cup of iced coffee. Ooh, in my gay. Cover. Very gay. And by iced coffee, I mean I left out this coffee for a couple hours, so I got lukewarm, and then I put ice in it. <laughs> nice. Uh? Oh. Uh? Oh, thank you. Well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Sam Newby, aka Sam the Bird, Monte Verde, aka Anissa Long. You're full of really non binary, uh, mentally unstable Filipino Canadian hot that's hot hailing all the way from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, <laughs> now with another cup of the shake that has almond milk in it because my original cup has is now empty. I wasn't expecting her to walk in with the smug, but I <laughs> love that. Come on, come on. and I'm at, at, uh, mm, uh, mm, I'm having a stroke. I'm Eris Envy, young, young, young. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm Eris Envy, York's punk okay. rock Harry Mary, all the way from York. I already said I'm from York. Fuck me. Here with a cup of ambition. <laughs> It's actually Pepsi Max. I've got caffeine jitters. And I read a really good book recently. It was about non-binary people in the American West. It's um, called There's Gold in They, Them, Their Hills. Oh, fuck you. That was funny. No, because I had I had another joke in my head about um, non-binary. Non so um, how does a non-binary ninja kill people? With they shurikens. Wait, what'd you say, Logan? They slay them. Close. They slash them. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, Drag Race. This drag Race. Is a, oh, boy. This, can you tell it's our second recording of the day? <laughs> Wait, Logan, I have a joke. My love life? No, if your pronouns My are he, life? they, why do you smell like she, it? What? Anyway, Sam, I'm so happy to be here with you today. I'm so Talk happy to about be here with you. All Star oh, Seven, All Stars, All Winners, All Eleganza, Extravaganza, Boots the House Down, Fuck Eris Envy, uh, All Winners. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't smell like pickles, bitch. Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> You try wearing a PVC cat suit for 48 hours. I would rather not. I'm smart enough to not do that. <laughs> anyway, all stars, all winners, eleganza, extravaganza, boots the house down for your nerve. Yay. Um, episode six, uh, an episode of television that exists. Yeah. It was yeah. Good. Then it was pretty good overall. It was perfectly solid. Yeah, it was perfectly Definitely acceptable. inoffensive. Honestly, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll talk about some Vag of the performances. Vag Vag um, the, the audience as well will be happy to know that I took notes for this episode. Yeah. So I know what I'm talking about. Drag Race Espana finale could never. Oh my God. No, it literally could never. Anyway, now that we are halfway through 
this season of All Stars, All Winners, Eleganza, Extravaganza, Boots the House Down for Your Nerve. Um, it's getting competitive up in here. It's, the competition is fierce, delicious, hunties. It's fierce and delicious. Go check out our Canada's Drag Race cast assessment that will be posted by the time this goes up. Um, <laughs> me perfecting my Miss Fierce Delicious impression all season. Anyway, um, we start this episode, we go back into the workroom. <coughs> um, Jinx has just won her second lip sync, her third challenge, her second legendary legend star. <laughs> I would also yeah. like to point out for the children that I started saying and then Bob the drag queen on the pit stop started saying just like that so you know what I'm a trendsetter thank you no but then we'll talk about it we'll talk about it later probably but Rue in this episode also says the doors I've opened truly the doors I've opened um, the Uber doors but, Robbie Turner has slammed shut. Oh my god, not Robbie Oh Turner. my god. Anyway, uh, Jinx has just won her second lip sync over Raja, who didn't know the words to Eliza's song. Sounds familiar for our Asian queens on Drag Race, don't I you I did, think? however, I did see that Raja said she didn't prepare for the lip sync because she thought the judges were going to overlook her again. Yeah. That's yeah, she said yeah. she said she prepared for the first uh, first four, and then the one time she doesn't is the one time she wins. I'm like, yeah. of course. Um, but yeah, so they're back in the workroom. Raja has a star! Yay! Uh, uh, uh. And um, yeah, so we also know that they both have a star to give away as were the conditions of last week's maxi challenge um so we get a little bit of a discussion of like oh who do you have you thought about who you're going to give your star to and raj is like yeah that's all yeah um viv comes back into the workroom she's obviously a little pressed mm -hmm. um jinx makes sure to clarify oh i didn't block you because of last week's shenanigans I blocked I, you because you very easily could have won this challenge. And I find that genuine. I don't know about y'all, but I, I think that's definitely like the genuine reaction from Jinx. Yeah. And the video's like, I don't believe that. She blocked me because I said something. It's like, no, she blocked you because now would be a good time to block you. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sure there is still that like ounce that's like, oh yeah. Because... There's definitely like one percent of Jinx's mind that was like, "Oh, she was gonna block me. Cool, I'm gonna block her." But I do definitely think most of duly it was... noted, I... no, the Vivian. Jinx duly a... noted, Jinx is a very smart person. So. Yes. Um. Yeah. I and also. Then... Sorry, I love the part of this episode where Jinx is just like, "I broke my tooth whilst larping, and then I told everyone it was because I was a skateboarder." I wrote that down and I was just like, you've got to be joking. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, a, that's so the most Jinx funny. Monsoon thing. Like, genuinely just the most Jinx. Like, I can't dance anymore because I'm a LARPer. You, yeah. You ever um, wanted to do drag so badly that you broke your tooth LARPing? No. I want to LARP. I think LARPing looks fun. It's just I've like, done it before. I actually think LARPing's pretty cool too. So. Yeah, it's, it was a good time. I went, I've done it once. It was, it was a really good time. Um, I did write down this quote from Jinx that I thought was really fun for her and Viv. Jinx was like, I um I want to do a show with you and I had to block you. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I Would I pay to see Jinx and the Vivian together in a show? Yeah. I would pay for Jinx, I wouldn't pay for the Vivian. And I would leave during the interval when the Vivian was gonna come on. I mean, sure. Um, but yeah, so we moved to the next day in the workroom. RuPaul comes in in a cognizant outfit. RuPaul know. looks like RuPaul again. Yes, RuPaul Yay. looks like You know who yeah. else looks like RuPaul? Raja. Raja. <laughs> I in that loved big purple hat. this big purple Pharrell hat moment. <laughs> it was it very took cute. Back, it took me back to Ru's Pharrell hat moment. What was that, season 10? 
Yeah. Or was it season eight? I can't remember. She's I done it more remember. than once. And season eight, she did it on the but first there was, episode. There was one season she did it, like, literally every week. Because I know there was, like, Head Wrap Rue was a moment on, like, UK Wait, and, like, Rue. season 11. Wig Rue on UK 2 was a moment. Oh, uh, I remember one of the first reading challenges, like, Rue had that, had a hat. Yeah. I think it's season 10. I'd have to go back and watch. I just watched season 9, so I know it's not that one. But mm-hmm. um, but immediately RuPaul is like, Raja, Jinx, you both have a star that you can't keep. Who are you giving it to? And Raja decides she is going to give her star to Yvette Nicole Oddly. Um, very happy. Which made me very, very happy because now yep. everybody has a star. And Evie even said in the like intro package, she was like, I will gladly take a handout from a helpful sister and she got it and i love to see it and uh, we all kind of assumed raja would give her star to jake or to evie they've had a very like lovely relationship so far on the season we were all very very all over the place on who jinx was gonna give her star to yeah i don't think i think i may have said jada in our last I episode, know some, I, I think the one of y'all said was, Jada. I didn't, one of someone did here, but I don't. I didn't. I know. I you know that Monet. Jada's name was brought up, Monet's name up was brought up, and Trinity's name was brought up. Yeah, but I think it was mainly um Jada and Monet that we were. Who was we it that blocked things? I'm trying to remember. Jada. Yeah, because I I think I said Jada, and then. Oh, I, and then I was like, oh, probably not Jada because Jada blocked Jinx. Yeah. Right, yeah. I think then that's why I was like, oh, Monet. Go watch our last episode if you want to find out what actually happened, because none of us can remember. <laughs> um, but uh, Jinx does give her a second star legendary to Jada. Star. Her legendary, legendary, legendary star to Jada. And it made me really happy. Jinx said that, you know, this is a person that, like, keeps my energy high, makes me smile. And that sounds like Jade Essence Hall. And you know what? I'm happy about it. It, it, it does. I so feel like I, that was going to be Monet too. And also just like, it sounds like a Monet thing as well. Right? Quickly thinking, so far, haven't like five out of eight queens been blocked? Because I think the only um, people who have not been blocked are Raja, Evie, Raja, and Jada. Evie and Jada. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So five out of eight so far in no. six episodes, we'll talk about it. I am willing to bet that by the end of this season, at least one person will have gone through the entire season without being blocked. And I'm willing to put money on it that it could be Jada. Just because I, I think also... Jada is like a strong contender, but also flying under the radar of like everyone's aggressions when it comes to blocking. Yeah. Like we're seeing this pattern emerging with Vivian and Jinx blocking each other. Yeah. Monet and... I actually think if it lands on Monet, Monet could go for Jada. I agree. Yep. I think, I, think... J- I think Jada is playing the game that Monet wants to play. Yeah. Yep. Because Monet is trying so hard to be under the radar that it's not working. And yeah. Jada is actually succeeding in being everybody's best friend and flying so far under the radar. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that A, she's a newer winner. And B, I don't think a lot of these girls are threatened by Jada, which I think is a severe mistake because she is incredibly talented, as mm. we saw in season 12. Like, exactly. I, I definitely think either that or I think there's a universe where Raja doesn't get blocked for similar reasons. I agree, I don't, yeah. I think, now that, I think now that we're seeing Raja be, I'm going to say it, consistently overlooked... I think there's a universe where Raja goes the whole season without getting blocked just because she keeps landing in the top. She's been in the top for what? Four out of the six challenges, I think. It's either three or four. And I don't remember. But I would say something like that. Raja has been doing exceptionally well, but the judges just aren't giving Raja her flowers apart from the one that thinks you didn't prepare. It's very clear to me at this point, unfortunately, Raja Raja will not be making the top four. No. And it really upsets me to say that because I think thus far in the season, Raja has been one of the top performers consistently. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have never put Raja in the bottom two, in a hypothetical bottom two for any of these challenges. Maybe this one. We'll talk about it. 
But up until this point, five episodes in, I wouldn't have put Raja in a hypothetical bottom two situation. And I think almost every other queen could have been put in a bottom two. Yep. Mm. If they exist. I think the only one that maybe wouldn't would be Vivian. Other than Raja. Because mm. I think Viv has also been no, very, I think, very consistent. Actually, no. I I see. I think there's an episode where Viv could have been in the bottom. Which episode? With the first Jinx. one? With Jinx in the sewing challenge. Oh. oh, yeah, because, I mean, yeah. she was Cause ahead of Jinx, like, very harder, safe. like, everyone else did really well. Yeah, I, I see that. But yeah, I don't... Like star. I really don't think... Like, Raja has been the most consistent, and I said this on one of our previous episodes. Raja has been very consistent, and I think in this kind of season, that's a disadvantage. It because if you're, very con- if you're very good at everything... You're not going to be able to excel, unfortunately, at certain things that are going to get you a top two placement, mm. whereas you're just going to fly third, fourth, maybe fifth in most of the challenges. It's, it's, I know there's a saying that people say, like, jack of all trades and master of yeah. none. That's but very thing is, Raja is the master of the runway and the fashion. I know but everyone here has got too. money to afford said fashions. If if there was just a straight up runway challenge, Raja would be in the top. It would be Raja and Shay. Yeah, and yeah. I would bet good money on that. Like that's I'm hoping I'm hoping that this next episode, being the RuPaul ball or whatever the fuck it is, that we get a just a design of... challenge. It's not the yeah, ball. Just a design just challenge. A design I challenge hope we challenge. get I I'm really hoping we get Raja in the top two with someone. I agree. But if so, it's unconventional materials, it's probably like Raja and like I see like Evie. I don't I don't think it is though. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like it's just a straight up design challenge with like normal fabrics. We'll talk about that at the end. I, anyway, I do have, okay. I do have a lot room. of thoughts on that. But yeah, so at this point, now that we have the additional legendary legend stars handed out, we have Jinx and Jada with two. Everybody else has one. It's a very evenly matched game which we all kind of expected it would be but we move on the maxi challenge for the week is trl girl groups and i really love that they have brought the girl group challenge that kind of has been revolutionized by drag race uk i love that they've brought this um concept and this logistical setup for the girl group challenge into an american season because i think it i i I liked seeing it and i've wanted to see it was it wholly successful i'm gonna say no and i have reasons for that we can yeah there's a lot of good ideas floating around that i just think didn't get executed like when um the team so we'll talk about what team people got signed into but when the team named mr were like Oh, maybe Evie was our fifth member and we could have been Mr. E before. And then when they were on stage, they're like, uh, Shay was like, oh, I'm leaving, by the way. So now we're going to be called Mia. I was like, no, do the thing with Evie because that's funnier and it makes sense because Evie's in a group of people that got kicked out of the original group. I don't know if the teams knew about each other's thing, though. That's the only thing. If they knew, Also, like, mystery to Mr. sounds funnier than Mr. to Mia. No, I agree with you. I think if Shay had taken that moment to be like, you know, we really had to bounce back after the loss of our fifth member. Um, but I think because of the stress, because of it all, I'm going solo. I think that would have, like, Been that would have, if that's the story you're trying to tell, then that would have sold the story a little bit more. But we'll talk yeah. about the enigma that is Mr. because I have a lot of thoughts and feelings. But um we have one team so the two songs that they get are together forever forever and just titanic just titanic and raja of all people goes ahead and just says oh well this is the lineup why don't we just do these as teams which on any other season i wouldn't have hated but then they sit down and they're like, okay, yeah, let's divide into groups. And Raja's like, well, we kind of already decided me, Trinity, Shay, and Monet are going to be a group and y'all are going to be 
the other group. And Vivian is like, yeah, no, I don't like that. Drink every time Vivian complains about her group, but then ultimately isn't mad about the group that she's in. But also, this is kind of giving me deja vu, because remember what happened in the Viv's first in UK season one with Davina. No, I do one. remember. It was very funny. That was very funny, actually. But Davina does deserve a fly with her. I and I would say. just like to say, if you ever get the chance to hear Davina DeCampo sing Her Majesty live whilst you're backstage at Yacht Pride, do so, because it's a great experience. That specific instance, absolutely. Absolutely. While she's wearing a Pride flag cat suit that looks absolutely amazing. It looked so good. That looked so it was, good. It's so fucking beautiful in person. Have I mentioned that I perform with Davina DeCampo today? I don't think actually you've mentioned it explicitly, but go on, Not on the podcast. So I'll just quick, I'll like quickly say, I got to perform with Davina DeCampo at York Pride because um, York Pride didn't book any local performers and I kind of made a stink about it. And Davina actually messaged me, reached out and said, hey, I would love for you all to do a group number with me. So thanks to Davina, we all got to do Proud Mary as a group number on a stage in front of hundreds of people at York Pride. Yeah. And um, she's very sweet and lovely and every bit as amazing as you would imagine she is backstage. Love you, Davina. Love you, Davina. Love you, Davina. Davina, come on the podcast. It probably <laughs> never happens, but, like, I, I need to be the... Uh, I can't keep being the only unintelligible Yorkshire person. <laughs> Dying. Um, but yeah, so Viv is kind of mad, but then Jinx is like, okay, well, if you want to do Titanic, go over there. And if you want to do Together Forever, go over there. And Viv is just like, well, there's too many people on that couch, so I'm just going to stay here. And I'm like, girl. Fucking move couches then, you bin. You did just have to, like, rock, paper, scissors someone for that space. Literally. I'm just like... Just kick uh... out Trinity, and then you can be the other T. Right? The Vivian. The Vivian. The Vivian. The Vivian. The Vivian. The the, 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 if you want it, I got it, got that boom, boom. Yeah. Um, um, just met a boy, just met a boy, just met a boy, when. But yeah, so we end up with Titanic being the group that becomes Mr., like we talked about, Monet Shea, The Tuck, and Raja, and um, performing together forever is the other girls, Jinx, Jada, Viv, and Evie. Um... I kind of loved the concept of the other girls. It was so funny. It was great. I just know Jesse Nelson's there with a sign-up sheet. Not that. Wow. Um, not that. Jingle Bell Ball, are you ready? No. No. That fucking um, dance move she did. Crying. But yeah, like so the- so the other girls decide that they're going to be just members of other girl groups that have, like, disbanded. Um, Mister has, we kind of talked about it, their whole idea about how they were mystery, but then Evie left. Which was so fucking funny, by the way. I screamed when they said that. And then it turned out to be nothing, and I was like, ugh, okay. Uh. But, and, um, like. It... <laughs> You go ahead, honey. No, I just I loved that. If we had to, if I had to choose a group that won this, I'd have to say the other girls definitely won, which makes sense because it was their members who were in the top. If I'm correct, but, we'll um, talk about we'll talk about the top and the yeah. bottom because I actually disagreed. But yeah, I I did too. To be fair. To nobody's like, surprise, I disagreed with the top two of this season. When Carson was like waving the microphones and spoke to everyone, we went down the line. It what everyone said made sense for their characters. I'm so sorry. I have to just acknowledge the winner of this week's maxi challenge is Ross Matthews. Ah! Carson Gailey. I screamed. Also, Ross, good on you for the weight loss. You look great. Not oh, that he didn't so before, cool. but I was like, I see you. I see you. I acknowledge yeah. you. Intensive um, care unit, it's so I weird see to see Ross with facial hair too. With I like the fake facial hair. I was like, I was like, wait, is that Carson Daly? I was like, wait, no, that's Ross. Fuck off. No. 
Ah, screamed. Um, not much happens in the recording or the choreo situation. Um, I did write down when Freddie of Leland and Freddie, who I was very happy to see back because they're both very attractive. Yes. Um, when Freddie is Freddie looks at Jada and he's like, <laughs> let's drop this shit. <laughs> Oh, what I will say is from when they did choreo, when um they they asked each other what the choreo looked like, and uh, Mystery just went, cute. Cute. And then, then the other girls were paid the favor just by just going, meh. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think the top, the real top two of this week's maxi challenge is Ross Matthews and Freddie. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and then Jinx talking about the the Mister Group in confessional, where she's like, maybe what Rose would have dropped this one, <laughs> and then she's just freaking out. She's like, bad Jinx, bad. I was like, I hate this, but I love this. It was so adorable to me. Oh, is this an untucked? No, this is um, no, this was just a confessional in the choreo moment. Oh wait, yeah. Untucked literally nothing let go. No, I remember one moment. Oh, okay. I'm just because I saw a clip of this on my Twitter feed. Just... Oh, the screaming. Yeah, we'll talk about. No, the not the screaming. Oh, well, we'll talk so, about the screaming as well. But um, yes, well, we'll get to it later. But yes, yeah. We go to the elimination day. Uh, Raja brings in her yoga mat. No, it's they... not elimination day. It's runway day. Elimination day. Play. It's a Plunge runway day, day in, in this. You want to get fucking plunged, babes? You want to get fucking plunged? We're plunge? fucking plunger destroyers. We're fucking jinx blockers. It's P L Anja. P L Anja. Well, we go to. Bad. There's a word. There's like a slang for. um. A woman's private areas. There's a vagina. slang for vagina. There's, no, there's a slang for vagina in the UK that rhymes with plunge. And now I keep calling. Oh, uh, I know. And what now I keep. About. Do you know which one I'm on about? Yes. Yeah, I keep I'm thinking of the plunge as the blank plunge. <laughs> no. Bonk. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're we're at performance day. Let's say that British Sam. jail performance day. Is that better? Yeah. 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 I did it myself. I don't know why my eyes were on that during this, particularly oh, during this episode, because I'm like, I just noticed now that it says runway day. Oh, does it really? <laughs> it does. Oh, I never noticed. Um, but Raja decides that she's gonna do yoga with Monet, and I thought this was cute. That's a cute um, uh, who was it? Couldn't touch their toes. The train. Oh, mm-hmm. took uh, Trinity the truck couldn't touch her uh, toes. Trinity and like, truck. I actually want to go on record and say I can only just touch my toes. Oh, I can touch the floor. Oh, well, good you. for you, whore. Nobody asked. Wait, give me a second. I want to try this. I want to see. If, let me. Let me try and touch my toes. Oh lord. Oh, I, my legs just feel really stiff. This is not going to go well. None of us can see this either. I know. Hold on. Oh, my god. Can we... Oh, not. Oh lord. Okay, there we go. Not the cheap shoes. Get the cheap shoes, babies. Get the cheap shoes. Oh, we're getting it. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. If you have to force it, then you can't do it. No. Oh my my, God. Hand, my hammies are really tight. And this has been Eris Envy tries to touch their toes. <laughs> the jeans are cute, though. The jeans are cute. Thank um, you. Yeah, Evie says she is ready to girl it around in girl groups, girl. Um, maybe, baby, maybe, baby, 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 baby. We will maybe. talk about I love you forever. Sometimes, maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. <laughs> Um, Shay fully acknowledges, you know, I won week one and I've kind of been fading in the background, so I need to do well this week. I love how she, I love how Shay goes about that though, because she'll be like, I think I'm happy. I'm, 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 oh, 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 oh. We'll, t- we'll talk about Shay, but 
Um, and then uh, Jinx acknowledges she almost gave her other her uh, legendary Leganster to uh, the yeah. tuck. Yeah, and I thought would have been. Like, well, shit. Um. So yeah, we go to the the runway. The guest judge, Tovelu, Tovelu, Tovelu. As the wise American poet Tammy Brown once famously said, Tootsie Low. I don't know why that sounded more like Lady Bunny, but okay. Tootsie Low, girl. I'm Lady Bunny, and I have something racist to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, we don't know how to say this woman's name, but her music is great. Yeah, I love Toodaloo. Toodaloo is great. Love her. Yeah, I so, do love Toodaloo. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 What's that song? I can't remember what it's called, but I know that it's by that Swedish musician Tootsie Roll. Oh my god. I didn't We're even know I was in regards to... We're moving on. We're gonna start by talking about Mr. Performing titanic i have the lyrics i did aesthetically pull them. the best group for me oh aesthetically the best aesthetically yeah and like that saying that monet and shay fucking ate trinity and unfortunately raja up like i think raja still looks good and the talk looks bad i'm gonna say I, no bad. she doesn't look bad she looks i think she looks good but the thing is Shay specifically is giving me that naughty's girl group yeah. baddie. Like she looks yeah. like she is ready to kick some ass after dropping the latest banger from the for the naughty. I'm trying to think of. I'm gonna be honest with you. I only remember about half of the naughties, and that's because I was born in '99. But she is giving me like Destiny's Child, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, I'm kind of very much getting, getting like, TLC. And I know, like, Shay said that she was yeah. kind of channeling that for the week, and I think she really pulled through with that. Like, yeah. and Michelle mentioned it um, during the runway critiques as well, but I think what really tied it all together was just the burgundy streaks at the front. That was everything to me. That was everything to me. Yeah. Um, Looking at the lyrics... Um, we start with Monet. Hers goes, I hate you, baby boy. You're tearing up my heart. Too busy. T9 text. Destiny fell apart. Like Kathy Lee dumped Regis. Love went down the drain. You are the weakest link. Dust it off. Try again. Slay. Try. Try, try, try again. Yeah. For me, honestly, the best verse. Mm, a should have been in the top. We'll talk about why she wasn't. Yeah, Monet um, did a really good job with that, though. I loved it. Monet's I love her hoop earrings too. Yeah, the whole look on Monet as well. Stun. She looks so good. Stun. Um, I guess we have to acknowledge Trinity's verse, even though I don't want to. Um, can we acknowledge Jay's before like... we acknowledge Trinity's? Well, I'm going in order. Ugh, fine. I know. Uh, so, Trinity's verse. Frosted tips, you know I had them. Yeah, Justin, you had me gagging. I went crazy, was obsessed, fell in love, then couldn't have him. I know this love ain't real love. You, were, you weren't sent from above, not in sync from the start. This blessed, blessed crush had to depart. This might be the single worst verse out of any Drag Race song, none ever. of the rhyming couplets made sense. None and of like, them. What you gets me about love the tuck is with love. What gets me about the tuck is how many verses has she done for Drag Race now? She Three. did four or five. Four. No, oh, she did. Yeah. Category she is fucking, yeah. She sabotaged Category is for everyone else. No, no. Category is um. Don't funk it up. Don't funk it up. I that one was. That I could not tell you what her way. verse was for that. Clap um, back. Bad. Take the scene of more. Uh, no. Whatever. And you kind of. It wasn't actually that bad. Look, super queen. Super, super, super queen. queen. And now this. this is her fifth. How? Wait, fifth? Is her fifth? Yeah, it is her fifth. Yeah. 
Category is Don't Funk It Up, Super Queen, Legends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then this is her fest. And none of them were good. Literally, the her best one is Category Is. I personally think her... I, I really liked um Don't Funk It Up. Die. Good for you. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Still, it's not that good. I could I could not tell you anyone's verse from that other than Monet. Anyway, next. Um, Wait, in in uh that episode of All Stars yeah. 2, All Stars 4? Yeah, where she's just like standing with Stacy and she's like she has the phone. Latrice had a good verse. I wish I remembered Sorry. it. Oh. Anyways, who's Anyways. Next? Um, it's Shay. I also want to say I've had this song stuck in my head for the last like couple of days, like Titanic. Uh, 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 uh. Like this was the catchier song for me. Absolutely. Uh, uh, but yeah. So Shay's Hell No Boy, You Best Be Trippin', What's Wrong Boo, Your CD Skippin', Better Not Play Me Like a Clown or Like Titanic, It's Going Down. Like that J Lo neck. Turn around, boo. Let me see that back. Just got hit up by your friend because oops, I did it again. Genius. All so great. Great verse. We will talk later about why Shay did not win this challenge. Um Shay invented killing the like go group challenges, like the group recording singing yeah. challenges. Yeah. Like don't get me wrong, Reggie Roche is probably the most iconic because it was the first. But Shay made like made the what you put in your verse so important. And it was such a defining moment for Drag Race. And Shay continues to do that on every season she's on. Yeah. Apart so, like, from like I, what is it? I'm in love. Today. I liked her uh Chadwick Bowes. No, I liked her verse, but I just think that entire song and challenge was fucking stupid. Valid. And now we know that what the Tuck would have done if she was on that season. Yeah. Fucking Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I will say, she, she's verses on All Stars 5 were not the best. All Stars 5 was not the best. Um, yeah. <laughs> didn't India Farah do Justin Timberlake? Yes. Because Derek... I'll tell you what, just, I'll tell you what India Farah yeah, did. Yeah, and she was in the bottom for that. No, I'll tell you what India Farah did. She tried to come for Shea Coulee on Twitter and has now had to delete her account. Did she really? Yeah, because she was right. getting like, <laughs> like if oh, you are yeah. going to start on anyone in the world of drag, do not go for someone who has nearly a million Twitter followers like Shay. Also, apparently India's coming to Tucson soon. Good luck with that. Good luck. <laughs> I'm hold on, I'm trying to see who tweeted this, but it made me scream. I mean, you could just not go, Logan. Don't worry. I'm not going. Oh, I'm not planning on it. <laughs> I'm not planning on it. I will find this tweet for you because it needs to be shared. Is it Miss well, Cracker? You... No, no, it's not Miss Cracker. It's. <sighs> well, while you look it up, I'm going to talk about Raj's verse. Uh, oh, oh so it's... sorry. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Oh, okay. So Derek Berry said of she course. thinks I can't keep her name out my mouth, and yet she can't keep can't the plaque, keep the out, plaque of out of hers. I love Derek. I love that Derek was the guest on the pit stop this week. It made me so happy. It um, makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. The only other person I would have wanted to see for that was maybe Tatiana. Yeah. Yeah. Or Katya. Katya's had some good verses. No, I was thinking well, Tatiana was because of, like, I associate Tatiana with TLC. Because of Don't sure. Girls oh. Wonderful. Sure. That's valid. Um, so, Raja's verse... Atlantic deep, my loots I keep. Sink my bling bling, bye bye ring. Treasure chasing, danger facing. Baby, you're drowning, frozen frowning. Honey, your heart, why so cold? That's hot, melt like gold. Clubbing in our juicy coup. Call me Angel Lucy Lou. Hiya. Okay, the last line was fierce, but <laughs> it I actually amazing. really like this verse. I I think the problem is Monet and Shay are very strong lyricists. Yes. Um, the tuck is there. So Raja had to like contend with Monet and Shay. And also she had to follow Shay. But I mean, she was still miles ahead of the tuck. She had the third best in this group. Yeah. And I would say... Hmm. 
the seventh best overall. I was thinking around that too. I think the only person whose verse I liked least less was the tuck. Yeah. Yeah. I I so. Yeah. Um, I really liked because Raja definitely let uh, like um, she lent into this like Paris Hilton two thousands socialite sort of attitude. Did she know the choreography or the words to the chorus? No. Even if the Stella played. Did she Did she know the words to her own verse? No. No. Did she still give face? Yes. Did she give all. face or is she just really hot? Both. Both. Okay. That's valid. Yeah. Also, thought... Sorry, total side note. Raja is not as fat as she makes it out to be. <laughs> not as what? I no, because Sorry, I don't know why this is this is random. This I shouldn't say randomly. This has been on my thought ever since she did the the whole yoga yoga thing with Monet. Uh, what is it? Raja always talks about like, oh, I'm fat now. I'm hearing her mention that. And I think Raja keeps saying that. I think that's just Raja's perception of her own body, and also because Raja is now, I believe, in their forties, and your Raja's body almost fifty. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Yeah, no one's going to maintain the figure they had 10 years ago. She looks fucking great for almost 50. Yeah, I honestly, if you told me that Raja was like in her phase, I would believe you. Like early, mid phase, yeah. I would believe you. She was 30 something when she won Drag Race. Exactly. Yeah. So. I yeah, love Raja's I... anecdote about being 20 in the noise, though. She was like, yeah, I don't oh, remember much of the noise because I was out at the clubs every night and i was just like from like 2000 to like 2008 it's a blur it's still it's i still find it funny how the next in the next old is in age is not jinx it's um it's the tuck yeah i'm pretty sure the tuck's ass is bigger than the youngest compare here Actually, anyway. the t- I don't. No, I just made. know she got that BBL in the two thousands. Yeah, yeah. I thought overall, Monet and Shay slayed this group. They Period. carried. They carried. Let's move to the other girls. This was the best screenshot I've grabbed, uh, probably all season. I was like, I have to grab the one at the very end. Okay, I need to address something very quickly. Huh. Viv's bodysuit is hideous. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Oh, yeah. That's all. Well, let's start with her verse, because she is first. Okay, I hate... You know what? Say the lyrics, sorry. I'm going to say it in my worst possible British accent to offend Eris. Um, No, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. Um, I got an English guy to love me. Um, what is it? I got an English guy to love me. He's got a foreskin and he drinks tea. He loves to love my double decker puss. Gonna start a royal family. Bangers and mash were meant to be. I love it when he sweeps my chimney. Um, Eris Envy, I would like uh, your thoughts and feelings at this moment. <laughs> Listen, I know that Liverpool is also in the north of England. But having to be fucking associated with that makes me believe we need an independent Northumbria away from Britain sooner rather than fucking later. I have never in my life been so embarrassed to be British. And I have watched us get zero points at Eurovision twice. I have watched how we acted after we lost the Euros. And I have lived through Brexit and Conservative rule for the past 20 years. And yet this is somehow the worst possible thing that has ever happened to me because I am British. I think I would rather go to Ireland and get hate crime for being English than have to listen to that ever again. Yeah. (laughs) I, I, I understand what Viv was going for. Yeah. 
I don't think she should have won the challenge. No, I don't think she should have won and the also, challenge. Like, I know that the thin eyebrows were all the rage for the noise. Mm. I don't think they look good on the Vivian. I think she just looks eyeballed no. here and she looks very odd and much older than she actually is. Yeah. There was such a difficulty with this challenge because I feel like people either did well in the challenge or on the runway. Yeah. Like, I honestly don't think anyone did very well in both. Do you know what, though? Without the eyebrows, yeah. for the first time this entire competition, the Vivian looks like herself. Like, when she had her old face. Right. I very much prefer her old face than the new one. But... Yeah. So they see that rhombus. Let's talk about Jada's verse. Much a rhombus. Not the rhombus. Um, Jada's verse. I get this rumble in my tummy when you're holding my hand. So baby, let me clear the air. You're like my number one fan, but you're my number two. I'm so in love with you. Just like diarrhea, we've exploded in love. You got me high, babe, and I'm gassy. We're floating above. The new millennium hit, because baby, you're the shit. It's so stupid. So stupid and yet know. so fucking funny. I, I just I love this character that Jada made. Because Jada could have come out here and just given us a really cunty verse like Monet and Shaded. Instead, she gives us this and it was so stupidly funny. I was yeah. honestly in love with it. Mm-hmm. I love that in the workroom, she was like, I want to be the rapper of the group, but just like really bad at it. And that's what we got. Um, I love Jada's look as well. Jesse the Nelson is filing for a, a cease and desist as we speak. I hate you. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get I in love trouble. that Jada. I love that Jada did the same like burgundy thing, but with the pigtails. Um, I thought she looked great. She was the first great. Nice pigtails. Bring back Together pigtails. forever. Oh, damn. I was. I had a thought about Jada, and I totally forgot it. But yeah, no, oh. Jada looks great. I personally really like the verse. I thought it was so stupid, but funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll talk later about who should have won oh, the and I was also, I was also going to go like on a mini tangent about Viv. But like... Oh, go for her, it. Just basically, I know Viv like brands herself as like a singer. She does? I'm just gonna say it's not my taste. Like her, her verse in in UK was not all that to me. Neither of them. UK, neither of them. No, but even even in the finale, it was like, yeah. I couldn't tell you any of the verses. Yeah, who really is such a great vocalist? Davina De Campo. Davina De Campo. Don't, I was trying to make a moment happen. No, you've already had... Have your moment, girl! Well, have have it. It. it! You know who's not a good vocalist unlike Davina DeCampo? Aerith Envy. At least I admit that. I was going to go the Viv, I don't think. I don't, I don't think. think. I don't think. A pink bodysuit with uh, leopard accessories? I don't think. And ugly thigh-high boots? I don't think. I sure she can go wig. We're fucking stealing the challenge win, aren't we, babes? Okay, Why? wait. How many times because... has Viv worn a wig like that? I feel like she's worn a de- decent amount of time. Because she had that in red during the last... Like, yeah. This, like, weird ear-length wig. It doesn't look good. Next. Jinxie Monsoon. God, help us all. Like my hip, our love is titanium, and we're aging at the same rate, because I'm very young. Pledge your heart to me eternally. Gonna be around forever like a CD. And I've still got two years left to have your baby, because I've fallen for you and I can't get up. I get it. Like, I <laughs> so funny. Lo- I can help but love this. I love that the other group took it so seriously, with the exception of Tuck. And this group was all just stupid. Yeah. I I think the difficulty for me is, like, the lyrics of this are really good. I didn't get a whole lot of delivery from Jinx. No, I think she could have taken the old lady from Kava. Well, I think we got such a, like, dynamic delivery from her in Legends that I was kind of... I was kind of surprised she fell 
way into the background in this challenge for me. Mm. And there's less people on stage too. Literally. But I thought the lyrics were good. It's just I, I wanted a bit more from the performance from Jinx. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's talk about Evie Oddly. Yvette Nicole Oddly. I may be oddly and oddly enough. I just say shredder because these days are so I mean, we knew it. we knew Evie was gonna do good in this challenge. Oh yeah. We knew. Um are you ready I for the know. lyrics? I, I was just gonna say, I don't know where this quote comes from, and someone let me know where it does come from, unless I've just made it up. But um, the quote is, I'm not a robot, but fuck me anyway, is a lot of what I got from Evie. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. I... Baby, I'm your baby, you're my baby. I'll love you forever, never maybe. <laughs> If you ever need me, you can page me, and I'll call you from this flip phone till I'm 80. Our connection is amazing. Dial up my modem, and I'll never keep you waiting. Baby, baby, baby. Listen. On paper, the verse shouldn't be, like, good. It shouldn't shouldn't work. It it shouldn't work. It works. But it worked. And that's the magic and the rapidity of pop music. Evie delivered it so well and in character. Baby, I'm a, I'm your baby. You're my baby. I love you forever, never, maybe. I love it. It's just baby, baby, baby. And like I just love the idea of this like pop robot. It gives me a little bit like the inspiration gives me a little bit of like poppy. Yeah, I was gonna say poppy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But, like, in the best possible way, Evie was the best for me in this challenge. Hands down, no question. Absolutely. The best for me. And she was luckily rewarded for it. I also just noticed she has these, like, knee things going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that. Wait, that, that. that clever. I Hold didn't on. notice oh. that, but it, oh my god, I love it. I am honestly going to start wearing knee pads when I perform. Oh, yes, protect your knees, queens. Because I fucking destroyed my knees again this weekend. Luckily, this weekend, there's no blood. Did you um, continue in the grand tradition of British queens slamming their knees on the ground for no reason? I may or may not have done several high kicks into a dip this weekend. And I may or may not only have one of them on camera. And that was the one I failed. Good. (laughs) As you fucking should. Honestly, when I start drag, I'm going to make sure to pad my knees in my, like, in my body. Because I know queens in Arizona that do that. And I'm like, that's so smart. Yeah, like, get yourself some, like, knee pads and then pad accordingly. Literally. Like, just make my entire leg a little bit, like, big, thicker and juicier. Not that they aren't already because, ooh, leg. But, um... You we can't did. spell legendary legend style without Ouch. leg. Leg. Ooh. Oh, I just nearly shot myself. Okay, let's sit down. Ooh. Not that. Oh. Let's let's go through these oh, run. Wait, I had a joke about Jada. Uh, she puts oh, the gosh, pee she puts in poop. Okay. I'm sorry. I've been removed from the video for less. That's all I'm saying. I see it. <laughs> thank you for thank you for sharing, Dusty. <laughs> no, sorry, no, because you had the 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 pee and pageant. Oh shit! I just got it. Oh shit! <laughs> that was intentional. That was intentional. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the runway. Category is Night of a Thousand Dollies. Oh. Yes. Yes. First up is Monet Exchange. Monet Exchange. In the mega evolved version of Maddie Morphosis's gown from season fourteen. And what we're not going to do is we're not going to disparage Dolly Parton on this runway by asso- associating her with Madeline Morphosinch and that fucking hate crime of a I'm love. not associating Dolly with Madeline Morphosinch. I'm associating Monet. Unless I love Maddie now, but that outfit she wore was borderline an act of homophobia. 
Well, that's why she got the golden boot. Mm. I'm going to be honest. The more that I've watched and seen this look, the less I like it. I like it. I think it looks incredibly well made. It's incredibly tailored to Monet's X shape. I love the hair. I'm going to love all the hair, everyone's hair this episode just because I love dolls. Not everyone's. We'll get into it. And Monet's mug is very much Gorgelina. Yeah. I, I this think, is this yeah. is fine. I I really really liked it. I think Monet's hair could have been bigger. Or T's a bit more higher. Um but yeah, no, I think it's a perfectly like solid look. I, I think the diff- homage too. Yeah, the look I think the- before. Yeah. I think the difficulty is a lot of people went for the style of dolly hair that associated with their look and not necessarily the very stereotypical dolly hair that we saw. I think best done by, honestly, the tuck. Um, mm-hmm. But I think Monet looks good. This just doesn't, despite the, the coat, I love the coat of many colors reference. I love that. But it doesn't, it doesn't Pee-pee do it. Poo poo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, as I was <laughs> saying before, I was so rudely interrupted <laughs> by someone that calls themselves a drag queen, allegedly. <laughs> Fuck um, you. <laughs> this just doesn't do anything magical for me. Like my cup is at like sixty percent because it's a good look, but it's just my not cup. like yeah. My cup is half full. (laughs) No one who calls himself a drag queen. Fuck you. Uh, My cup is a a solid 70. Solid? I hate you. (laughs) I hate both of you. The talk! (laughs) I don't like her, but the look is good. Well, yeah, the yeah. Tonka truck. Yeah, the Tonka truck looked really good here. <laughs> the hair was the hair was great. The makeup did give me um the makeup was like giving me the illusion of Dolly, but didn't really look like Dolly per se. It gave me more Reba. Yes, I was gonna say yeah. that. And that's weird because she overdrew her lips, and Reba has no lips. She overdrew and yet somehow underdrew her lips. It was a little bit of the Tommy Brown effect. Uh, yeah. The boobs were sitting correctly. I love this like lemon yellow color. It really was like perfect. I have no notes for this. Yeah, the semi the semi truck exit looks really good here. <laughs> um, it, sh- seeing the original like inspiration, um from Dolly. This is spot on. I can't say anything bad about her. My cup is full. I think she did a phenomenal job. My cup is also full. My cup's full. Again, it comes back to people either doing really well on the runway or really good in the challenge. (laughs) And that's the difficulty with this week. Shea Kulea. I love that we got to see specifically this era of Dolly because I don't think I was expecting I don't think I was expecting anyone to do this. Sorry, I'm fucking knackered. Wait, you know who this looks like? Who? Sandy looks like... from Greece. That too. But I was going to say Grandria at a biker bar. This is young Grandria. This is young Grandria. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. R.I.P. Grandria. R.I.P. Grandria. <laughs> R. I. P. Grandria. <laughs> this is a good look. I don't love it for the category. Yeah. Like, I and like it, this more, not thinking that it's a Dolly Parton look. Yeah. I like this look on Shay, but I think if it was on anyone else, if the Tuck wore this, I would probably have read the Tuck for it. Yeah. Um, this is this is very Dolly meets Shay, though. Sorry to Yeah. Know. Yeah. Kind of well, like a doll meets RuPaul. Yeah, I really like it. I guess I can see it for the category because, you know, we had the photo next to it. Yeah. But I think the hair isn't, like... Correct. This is the biggest hair crime for me. Yeah. And really it's the only little... like major hair crime for me. From this pic, I think it might just be the low quality of this picture because I remember it being okay in video. But the hair looks a little fried from here. But then again, that might just be uh, 
this picture. I took the best photos I could. Okay. Yeah. I'm but not blaming you. Look- I'm blaming the RuPaul's Drag Race Twitter for not uploading shit faster. I know. Yeah, but I also think like the lighting uh-huh. and just like the movement of the hair kind of just oh, elevated it. It just- wasn't nearly as having watched this earlier today when I made the, the slideshow. Um, it wasn't nearly as fried as it looks in this photo, but it still wasn't great. Yeah, yeah. it was a um, lot. My my cup is gonna be half full for Miss Shakele tonight. Yeah, my cup's halfway full. My cup is also half full. And this, I fully am convinced, is why Shay didn't win the challenge. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's move to Raja. Okay, I love this from head to toe, and I'm glad that someone did Dolly and did an exaggerated hair rather than going for accuracy, because at the end of the day. You is a drag queen. Give us the drama. I want I a dragged out decided... version of a drag version of Dolly Parton. Yeah, exactly. I think Raja looked phenomenal. I love this outfit. It's not something Raja would like normally wear. It was so different and so glorious. I was just in love with it. Raja on the runway. I mean, are we surprised? Like, no. I think I'm invented the being the like specifically girl. a Dolly Parton thing. The, the category is Dolly Parton. Like, yeah. this is... I, I really love this. This looks great. I, I think the biggest thing for me... I liked, I think she looks great. Raja always looks great in the runway. I think the difficulty for me is I don't think this is her dress. To what you said, Eris, this doesn't look like something Raja would wear because I don't think this is Raja's dress. And I say that because there were a few fit issues... Um, well, and she I don't, padded for once, which is... Well, I was going to say, there's also, like, she padded, which I think might also have something to do with it. I just found it, like, the dress felt, like, looked a little loose in places, like, around, like, the, around the bust. Um, but I think Raja looks great. Um, my cup's going to be at 89%. My cup's full. Uh, my cup is... Uh, A95. Party. The Victorian. I mean, vaginal canal infection. I mean, she looks like Dolly. Yeah. Yeah, The makeup. This is what the Tuck probably wanted to do. Yes. The Vivian actually pulled off. And that's because the Vivian does impersonations regularly. She was truly giving the image of Dolly. And I loved the hair was like accurate to Dolly as well. And the dress was accurate to Dolly as well. This I is saw... also... sorry, go ahead. You get no, you go ahead. I was gonna say I saw people online criticizing her for this hair, and I was like, No, this is not East Dolly. This is the uh, of the era, Dolly Parton. Exactly. It wasn't quite as big then, it was a bit more streaky. But this was it, and the Vivian looked exactly like Dolly. Yeah, and even just as a look alone, like, it's great. Yeah. I don't necessarily love the look itself. That's just my personal taste. But I don't like the original when Dolly wore it, so <laughs> that's kind of like... You know what, Loki, actually, it kind of gives, like, Willow Pill and J- J-Lo... Oh my god, you're kind like, right. I like it because it's ugly, so I chose it. Right. <laughs> but the thing is, Willow looks good too. Yeah. My cup's gonna be at 90, just because I don't love the look on her or on Dolly. That's fair. Uh, my, I'll, I'll say my cup is full. My cup's full. Eris saying good things about the Vivian? What? Ew. The Essence of Hall. Ugh! Oh, sorry. I just came. I I don't love this. No, <laughs> my fucking voice crack. <laughs> that I'm is the most British you've PVA ever PVA sounded. Again. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, Jada Essence Hall, and you <laughs> know there's got to be a bathroom in that hall because she got IBS. But <laughs> that's where she put the pee in pageant. 
I thought she looked glorious. Like she was just so beautiful and ethereal and gorgeous. And I just wanted to put her entire wig inside of my mouth. I thought you were going to say your ass. <laughs> You're going to put your wig in my butt. I hate you. Um, I, I honestly, you I think Jada looks great. I just, it's the, kind of the same with the Vivian. I just don't love this dress on her or on Dolly. I personally love the dress. I mean, I think uh, Jada looks great. Um, yeah, no, like, I love this. Although, I did think for a second she looked a bit like Gru. It, it, Not it Gru, is, Paul. It is giving a little bit more Rue to Paul than it is Dolly Parton for me. It also doesn't do anything for her shape. And we know Jada has a phenomenal shape. Yeah. Body. And it, just, it, it just kind of, yeah. I'm... My cup's at like seventy five because I think she looks good. Uh, my cup is full. My cup is overflowing. I'm the bitch today. Wow. I think you might have more of a. I would say you probably know more about Dolly than me and Sam. I mean, granted, I'm I, a fan of Dolly's. I would. I grew up with Dolly, so I I do think I probably Please. have. The yeah. Yeah, my knowledge of Dolly is all second hand from my mother. So sure. Hi, yeah. Sally. Yeah. Whereas I grew up listening to Dolly among like the the greats of country music, so I think I'm a, I think I'm probably just a little bit more critical. I beg no, for sure. pardon. Me, but... I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> That's not Dolly, but I still love that song. That is a great song. Jinx, I love this. I actually really love this. I song. was so glad we got AE's Dolly from someone. Uh, we, uh, I think we all knew it was going to be from Jinx. Yeah. Big hair. I look. See the dress. I don't wouldn't consider Dolly. And then I saw the reference. It's like, oh yeah. But the wig. I the love wig is... when Dolly had this hair. The wig is so stupid, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the walk for me too. Oh, the little Dolly had a little pep in her step back then. Yeah. <laughs> It was so weird seeing Jinx in blonde. I have to say, it was very we unusual. See her in a variation of ginger, like every week. Like, I mean, I know it's season five, but like she changed. I'm trying to think. Her, her the color last color time we saw green. Jinx in blonde was probably after the lip sync the group challenge. I was gonna oh. say the finale of season five. Yeah, that was nah. a, that, um, she's in blonde. Yeah, because that was a blonde, wasn't it? It was blonde. It was a dirty blonde. In that like purple dress. In the yeah, in the butterfly, the butterfly dress before Asia yeah, like, ruined butterflies the for Dark Race. Yeah. Um in the cable car with the lights on. Yes. Yeah. Um no, this this slayed for me. My cup is uh very full. My cup is also full. It's overflowing, babes. Actually, it's just full. Eva, Eva, this Nicole, picture, uh, this fucking picture. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep, that's why I pulled it. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't I, think I, we need Capri cat suits that end at the knee um, and that are ruffled at yeah, the knee, especially on lovely ladies like me and Evie, as we are both bow-legged beauties. Uh, um, it does not suit us. It tends to look very suspicious. I mean, there's a picture of me from Yacht Pride this weekend where I'm standing instead of, like, strutting. And my legs just look fucking hilarious. And I'm getting that from this. And also, I love Evie. And I love the character of Evie, oddly. But if you're trying to do Dolly, why are you going around like... It's like like, Dolly... it was like she slightly reprogrammed her pop robot to become country robot. You know what she kind of looks like? Um, I hate, Eileen Werner. I really hate to say this. I really hate to say this. Oh, no. um, remember Secret Celebrity Drag Race, the very first episode, Baby Kins oh. LaRue? No. no, not Mimi Teapot. No, Baby Kins LaRue. No! No, 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 even worse! The hair for me. The hair really gave it. Yeah, no, that's fair. Maybe against LaRue. Allegedly, we're getting that again soon. 
I are. just don't yeah. know why Evie is like gnashing her teeth like this. I don't fucking know. Um, my cup's gonna be at like sixty-five. My cup will, yeah, sixty-five. My cup's gonna be at like sixty. All right, besties. Favorite look of the evening? Uh, someone else go first. Um, um, I'm gonna go with Jada. I'm also gonna go with Jada. I'm Actually, no, go... I'm gonna go with Raja. I'm gonna go with the talk. Yeah. 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 They did it but themselves. Yeah. They did it yeah. Um, we find out that the winners of this week's uh, maxi challenge receiving legendary legend stars, well, star, is the Victoria's Secret and Yvette Nicole Oddly. Choices, but yeah. Yes. I, I don't know why the, vi- the villain. Actually, no, I think the villain was in the top because even though her. Um... This is hard. To... I think the judges found the Vivian's number funny because it's like, haha, British people. Yeah. But to me, it's just like, that's just a bundle of jokes I've heard done to death. Yeah. But the runway was really good on the Viv's part, which makes sense. But like Evie, whereas Evie did better in the uh, challenge, but had like a passable look. I just think if maybe instead of Sorry, it's free. Um, instead of the uh the vaginosis, we probably should have had. I want to say um, Shay. Shay, yeah. I was stuck between Shay and Monet, and then I remembered the runway looks, and yeah, I think Shay or Monet should have had that spot. Yeah, I think my other fourth person in the top four would honestly be would have been what? For me, it would be Jinx. For me, it would have been Jada. Yeah, that's a good pick too, though. Yeah. Um, we we do get Viv and Evie winning. The high placements were Shay and Monet. I really think it should have been Shay and Evie. Yeah. But VP poop. We didn't get that today, but that's okay. Um, but we get the Victoria's Secret and Yvette Nicole oddly lip syncing to one of my favorite Dolly Parton songs. Why'd you come in here looking yeah, like that? Okay. It's a great song, actually. This this whole season has been like a bunch of my favorite songs and Old McDonald. Um, oh, McDonald, have a fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. it's a great rendition, though. It is. I love, love, love Ella Fitzgerald. Um, this lip sync, I thought, was the second best lip sync of the season. Yeah. Yeah. Behind oh, Old McDonald, you. funny enough. Yeah. Um, I thought I they just, both did really well, but... I just think for the amount of really strong performers we have here, we haven't had many good lip syncs. I think, like, we keep getting odd matchups to the song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we keep getting Jinx for pop numbers, and that's, like, not gonna go... I mean, Jinx can perform to that, but it's not gonna be as amazing as, say, if it was Jada and Evie. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. 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 I... I, I'm just like the one of the potentially only times we see Evie oddly lip sync this season, and it's to Dolly Parton. Yeah, like for fuck's sake. And like sake. I understand that it was Dolly because of the Dolly runway. I just and need I, Evie to be in the top again for like a crazier song. Instead of doing this thing where she was like manic and bouncing around to um Dolly. I thought it was still like a good interpretation of the song. It was an Evie interpretation of the song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we find out that the Vivienne wins the lip sync. Deserved. Yeah. Yeah. She had the little nuances. She was Dolly Parton. Why? Because she's an impersonator. Exactly. So, like, I'm not surprised. Um, she's an impersonator, and- ladies and gentlemen. And- um, well, and and- obviously she doesn't get the star because she got blocked. She got blocked. Right. So she's still at one. And uh, she decides she's going to block Jinx right back. Tit for tat, tit for tat. And Jinx is so upset by this. And I'm like, girl, why? I'm slightly irritated. 
But I love that Jinx or Viv literally should have blocked anyone else because next week is a design challenge. <laughs> Not that she knew, but not that they knew. But it's just funny. honestly, I feel like if we're gonna play this kind of game for All Stars, they should start telling them what the challenge is next week. Mm, I don't think so. I kind of like the the gag that it's like I like oh. the gag that it's random. I like the gag that it's random because then they'll be like, "Oh fuck, I used it on the wrong person." Yeah, like I think that's hilarious because it's a gamble because you have this power. You gamble, like, girl. With great power comes great milk. And so, like... <laughs> With great power comes great milk. You, you, you put that in so subtle. I know! I do it every time I watch Drag Race. Or every time I watch All Stars. It's like, with great power comes great milk. Every time. Every it's time. It's chocolate. <laughs> um... But like with great power comes great milk, and it with that power comes the risk that if you block the wrong person, your decision is kind of fucked. But you still get ten thousand dollars, so who cares? Yeah. Vivian has now fair. made twenty one thousand dollars on Drag Race. Twenty one thousand uh, uh, eight hundred Great British Sterling pounds. Good for her. You know what? Sure. That's almost as much as what my salary would be if I was full time. I think the Viv has already won more money than BB. Yeah. Banjo, banjo. So you want to play yep. me like a banjo? Yeah. And I think even, you, even um James Ross. No, James got uh, twenty five. Twenty five. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thank you for the it was correction. Twenty twenty five fifty. No, no, it was, it was twenty. 75. It was twenty fifty seventy five. There you I go. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're all tired. So we're going to leave. Um, thank you so Ooh. much for yet another episode of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, All Stars, All Winners, Eleganza, Extravaganza, Boots the House Down, Design Challenge, For Your Nerves. The Heart of Europe gets to choose. The Heart of Europe lives here. We choose songs for Eurovision. Um, join us next week where we will talk about looks that these queens have to make. Inspired, Inspired by, by RuPaul. RuPaul. As Not if RuPaul a didn't have a big enough ego. Yeah. Anyway, Jada Shada Hudson. Jada Shada yeah. Hudson. Support your local home. drag. Very true. She really put the pee in pageant today. She did. Piss. <laughs> <laughs>